So hey, I thought we would uh, switch gears, jump over on the 72 Plymouth Fury. Uh, we did the uh, coronet on the last few videos, so I thought we would work on this for a little bit. Today, we're gonna uh, get in here and put the carpet in. We got a brand new carpet kit going in this thing. It was sent to us by a subscriber, very much appreciated. I cannot wait to uh, get that in here. We've been kind of building the whole interior of this car around that carpet kit. And I think it's time to get it in here. So uh, we're gonna start by pulling out the seat belts. They're gonna have just just the front ones. It looks like it's gonna have to come out. We're not gonna have to take the back ones out. A few more things: uh, the kick panels, uh, the dimmer switch. Probably these panels too are gonna have to come off. So let's just get to it. Uh, I've been wanting to try out my new. Check it. I'm gonna show this off. This was sent to us uh, by a subscriber as well. We just opened that up on the uh, the last fan mail episode in case you missed it and today we're going to try it out for the first time look at that <laughs> that didn't even put up a fight that's awesome man i got that right off of there cool sweet so i guess uh you know i could go through all the trouble of trying to unplug this oh, okay there we go hey you know what on that last uh i think it was the last fury video some of y'all were talking about this wire here. I thought it went to a heated seat, and you guys were like, nope, that goes to the uh, seat belt to let you know whether or not you're plugged in or not. And you know what? You're right. There it is. Cool deal. Um, let's get some of this stuff out of the way. We'll have to come back in and vacuum it up, and I will put some uh, some rush, and like some encapsulator. We got some of that left, I do believe. I'll look in the cabinet. We'll brush a little bit of that on right there where the uh, seat belt goes on before we put it back in kind of getting a look at these and see what we're we'll have to clean these up too there's no way we're going to put these in back against that that uh brand new carpet that won't look good so anyway we'll we'll address that as well but for now we're focusing on getting everything out of the way and uh i guess we'll just stay over on this side get everything done and we'll move over to the other side that makes sense right so we're going to pull this door panel back off and I found out that this is actually pretty easy to do. Nothing to it at all. You just want to get this off first. Put that over there. And let's see, trim tool. Pretty easy stuff. Yeah, these come off pretty dang easy. Just want to be careful and not rush it. It's kind of the theme of this whole project is to just take your time, don't get in any kind of big hurry. And everything seems to be going pretty smoothly so far as far as taking it apart and putting it back together. Uh, none of this stuff is broken yet. It's all still in really good shape. And we do have the armrest. I think I've mentioned that in a previous video. So let's Let's put that over to the side. I do believe the seal plate's going to have to come off. They gave us quite a bit of extra material on the sides. And uh, that's perfect too because it'll come up here, tuck up under here. And then, then we can put our seal plate on over it kind of hold everything in place I think is that's what it seems like it's gonna happen uh, let's see let's get our light under here <laughs> well, well that's gonna come off easy like that. <laughs> it's supposed to have a couple screws in it but they ain't in it uh, this is still a good piece though there's nothing wrong with this this isn't isn't broken at all so we're gonna be really careful with this because it don't it doesn't need anything so all right let's just put that over there out of the way Let's move over to the other side. I don't think there's anything else. I uh, can't see anything else now. I think we're good now. Let's just move over to the other side. This actually came off the other side really good. Let's see if we'll get lucky on this side. Side. I'm not seeing one. 
car, huh? Well, maybe I'll just put this over the side for now, just to get it out of the way. Get the seal panel off. Just like we did the other side. This is going pretty quick. I'm trying to uh, kind of film as much of it as I can in real time, just to show you how easy this really is. So you check it out, I actually did find a plug. It's just right underneath that little panel there. So there, we can get that out of the way. So that was pretty easy. Uh, let's see, just like the other side, I went ahead and took the, the seal plate off. Uh, now let's see about getting this kick panel off. Maybe we'll get lucky and half the screws will be missing out of it too. No, nope, it's got both screws in it. Sweet. Okay. Let's get this one out of the way. And again, this is a perfectly good panel. Nothing wrong with it, so we don't want to mess it up. I'll put the screws in there for safekeeping. Just slide this over here out of the way. Just like the other side, we're going to pull the window crank out of the way. I like that these actually have a screw hole in them on instead of that weird little clip that likes to fly off across the room. You, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. A bunch of y'all have messed with those. Uh, let's see. These just have a screw that kind of goes up at an angle. Pretty easy to get out of there. There it is. Oh, God. And they're supposed to have a screw back here at the back, and this one's missing, so it makes it a little easier to get off. <laughs> and let's see, where is my trim tool? Did I leave it over there? Oh, here it is. It's hiding. Just want to get underneath the edge of it here. Start popping. The best thing to do is get right where the clips are, right next to the clips is the best spot to just barely pry against and it'll come off of there easy enough. And last time what happened is it had a screw in it but it was tucked under the surface and yeah there it is right there just like just like last time I forgot about that guy. Down in there, he's hiding. He's just sitting in there waiting to mess mess us up. That's all. It's all right. We caught him. There we go. That is out of our way now, and we will be careful with it so we don't mess it up because it's still good. Same as the armrest here. Put that right there. Okay. Uh, I don't see us having to pull anything else out. Ain't that it? I do believe that's it. Yeah, good deal. That took like all of about 10 minutes. So got this Eastwood Rust Encapsulator. Uh, the stuff's supposed to be good, y'all. I can't vouch for it. I don't know. I guess there's only one way to find out, and that is to use it. And that's what we've been using on our projects. Uh, this stuff is supposed to, uh, you know, just what it says, encapsulate the rust, which will inevitably make it not spread any worse than what it already is it should it should stop so I'll go ahead and coat this down really well and they say that's all you got to do man is just go through with like a wire wheel and just kind of knock off the loose scaly stuff that's what they want and then you could go right back over it 
with this stuff here. Just brush it on, spray it on, whatever you want. You just straight out of the can. You ain't even got to do nothing to it if you don't want to. And uh, brush it on there. And it's supposed to uh, knock the rust right back. In. You know, just stop it right in its tracks. So that's what they say anyway. We'll find out, I guess. Um, you know, we used it on other projects, like I had mentioned. And so far, so good. Nothing's come come back yet. So anyway, we'll get both sides down here. We'll let that dry for a little bit. It dries really, really quick. So shouldn't be but, I don't know, 20 minutes. We can come throw our carpet right, right over the top of it. Now, in case you missed it, we did the whole rest of the floorboard with the bed liner stuff. The same stuff we did the roof with. Uh, it's just stuff you get at Walmart. Rust-Oleum bed liner coating. And we rolled it all on here. And uh, it's, it's seems to be pretty nice um, i haven't had any issues with it so far we've let it sit out in the sun a few times and it's none of it's faded out yet of course you know usually that doesn't happen you know except for over time and and uh we'll find out we'll, we'll keep you posted on it I, i'm really curious if that's going to last or not or if it's going to fade out and turn chalky and all of that but it sure looks good so far and having it on the floor i think will help with heat uh maybe give some de sound deadening qualities things like that uh, between that and the carpet that carpet's really nice and thick and has a padding on the bottom side of it i mean yeah look at the bottom side of this really thick stuff man i think it's gonna sound really nice in there once we get all this put together should make for a good highway cruiser you know something you know take long road trips on is what i'm thinking okay so on this carpet uh the back part is going to go in first and then if you'll look on the front section which is right here it's got a finished edge so that's actually going to lay on top of this piece after this piece is in uh, you can see here where it's kind of cut around i believe that's where the back seat's going to go and then these areas here are molded to fit right down into the floor pan and then of course in the middle with the hump for the drive shaft so uh this ought to fit okay i've heard a lot of good i've never used it before uh, I may have mentioned that this was sent to us by a subscriber, uh, very much appreciated. And from what people have told me, these are very nice and they usually fit very well. So let's try it. Let's get it in there. I believe, I believe it's going to go in like this, right? Um, you can kind of see where it fits the shape of the floor. You know, it's kind of got this, this contour right here, which fits, fits that. So I, I can't help but, that, I just can't help but think that that's exactly how it goes in. It's got to, there was no instructions, so I figured they, they must think I have common sense. <laughs> you boy, are they, they, they're wrong on that. Uh, I think that's it, man. I don't see it could go any other way than that. They gave us plenty of extra, that's nice. So I guess we'll be kind of trimming up the sides and then this will run up under the panel a little bit, I do believe. So that's cool, they definitely gave us plenty. All right, so let's move on to the front. I don't know, man. Should we? I don't know. I feel like I feel like we should probably go ahead and put the front in. I was gonna say maybe we should try to uh, cut out for the seatbelt holes, but I think it would be smarter to fit everything in, get everything lining up, and then we'll go through and trim out holes. How about that? How about that? Let's do that. That seems smart. Let's go, this one's self-explanatory. It can only go one way because it has that for the driver's side. So there's no way to get it wrong. That back's, the back one I was kind of wondering about for a minute, but once you get it in there, it's like there's no question that it goes like that. So anyway, uh, obviously I'm gonna have to get in there and push it under the gas pedals and and the brake pedal and everything. Let's see. All right. God, that looks so good. 
it already. Already looking good. Talk about transforming the inside of an old car. If you guys missed the videos where we first pulled this thing in here and gutted this interior, you would know why I'm so excited right now because this, this is night and day difference, man. Look at this already. I'll get in here and kind of push push around on it, you know. I've heard you can use a heat gun, that'll help. It's a really cool day. What are we like in the last week of May? And uh, it's like 60 degrees outside. It's the craziest thing ever. Probably the worst time to be doing this. It'd been better if we would've did this a couple days ago when it was 96 degrees outside. Crazy summer so far. But I do think as long as we've got it in here and we're just kind of pushing it around where it's supposed to go, Maybe we'll just let it sit here for a little while. What do you think about that? Let it sit here for a little while, go have some lunch? That sounds like a good plan. I would like for this to go all the way up to the steering. You know the steering column there? That way, that way when you look in here, all you see is carpet. You don't see any of the firewall. And it'll help with sound and heat and all that stuff anyway. So you want to push it that way as far as possible, I would think. And look how much we st we've got almost still like a foot of overlap here. Really nice. Yeah, pull it back, babe. Show them. Yeah, look at that. That with combined with the, the padding on the back side and, and double lapped and all of this, this thing is going to be really nice and quiet inside, I would think. So, yeah, like I was saying, man, ton of material left over we could run it up and over the sides and uh, probably tuck it down and tuck it down in there and then trim it up put our kick panels back on and all that but yeah you see what I mean about getting it in there and getting everything kind of situated situated did I say that right situated get all that straightened out and before you ever start poking holes in it seems like the smart way to go right yeah yeah I think I'm gonna take a little acetone, scrub these things up here before I spray them down with, with my fabric dye. I've got some fabric dye. It's a uh, flat black that I think is gonna look really good on here. But that stuff will not stick if you don't clean up the surface really well. So I'm gonna start off with this stuff and just scrub Rub it down really, really well. And then we'll switch over and wash it off with some, some soapy water, some glass cleaner, or something like that. And then I'll have to do something about the belt too, because it's pretty gross. So yeah, you see, I mean, that's, that's some nasty stuff coming off of there. So once we get all that off of there, we could switch over and spray it and uh, then we'll clean the belt, I guess. I don't know. Gotta do something with it. We can't put it in like this. This is nasty. Probably should've took the power washer to these things. They're so gross. Man, in that old car, that, that interior was pretty bad. But I think the acetone will clean out all the grossness. <laughs> Whoa. Get out of there. Yeah, I think that's gonna help us. That looks looking pretty good. So this is what we're using, the vinyl fabric dye from Duplicolor. And uh, if I remember right, this was a flat black. Yeah, it says flat black, so. It ought to work. We used it on the rest of the interior when we were doing the uh, headliner and the visors and all that. Seems to do a pretty good job. All right. Now, from what I could tell, there's actually a screw hole, a screw right here. 
I can undo it. Yeah, it's got this, this right here. And the way it was when I took this apart is that was actually screwed right through, right through this. So I'm wondering, should probably do that again, obviously. This is what they had from the factory right here. Just like that. Okay, and that held it into place. Just like that on both sides. And then we'd probably come through and trim off some of this. So I do believe we got a little bit too much running up underneath there. I don't know. Maybe we ought to just leave it alone. Uh, there's one hole for the trim panel to clip into. It's right here. And that's it. So maybe we'll just trim that out of the way. That's what I was thinking. Like that maybe? I don't know. Let's see what this does. Oh, there we go. Now our trim, can the clip can go right through into the hole like it needs to. As far as the rest of it, there's no more clips on the bottom, just that one. So as long as we can, as long as we can get to it, so that our panel clips in, we ought to be okay. And that should take care of back here. Go ahead and trim out just a little bit more just to be on the safe side. There we go. I think that'll definitely get us. So at this point, we should be able to put the panel back on. Let's try it out and see. Shouldn't be nothing stopping us. Up here at the top, it just goes up, up and over like that. Let's find our hole. There we go. Oh, there it is, right there. There. Okay, we're in there. And then you have these across the front. There we go. Looks like we'll have to trim a little bit right there. Okay. All right. Let me get my light. Should have seen that one coming, actually. We are going to, I'm trying to leave as much of the carpet as possible. I like the extra insulation. And if it's not hurting anything, I'll just leave it. As long as uh, we got trim holes, you know, the holes for the trim to go through, it ought to be okay. And right here is one that's being blocked, so gonna cut it out of the way right quick can you see it right there right there that's what we're after so let's just trim that off there we go just like that and then we'll trim this out of the way okay now we are we are clear there it is. Okay, that's what we're wanting. Get that one in. That one's in too. I think I heard that one pop out earlier. There it went back in. Okay, good deal. Remember, we got the little screw that goes back here at the back. And then, of course, we will have the armrest that goes back on. But that's what it'll look like. It'll just tuck right up underneath. Can y'all see that? It's just going to tuck right underneath there. And I like that. And I wanted to leave as much of it tucked in behind there as possible and not cut it all off you know so now it's tucked all the way in probably all the way up to here on the back side so anyway just a little little more insulation no sense of cutting it off i wouldn't think so this is going to go on right here obviously you guys remember so that carpet's going to have to tuck just underneath it let's just go ahead and let's just get that trimmed right now i just want it to come up i'm going to cut a little bit extra you know, leave, leave a little extra material, is what I'm trying to say. And uh, just kind of sneak up on it a little bit. I don't want to accidentally cut off too much. I would rather cut off too little than too much, that's for sure. So there we go. That should do it. And then this will go back over the top, like I mentioned. And all we need is for that just to kind of tuck under the edge, which, check it out. Give him a shot back here, babe. Show him what we're talking about. Can y'all see back here on the back edge? Yeah, it just tucks right up underneath it. Man, that looks nice, y'all. We'll clean these up real good, too, before we put them back on. OK, 
Okay. Some good thick carpet. It's not all that easy to cut, to be honest. These are brand new razor blades. There we go. Ah, okay. At this point, I do believe that this will fit back on perfect. Yep, just like that. And like I said, I do want to polish these before I put them on because they're kind of, I don't know. They're, I mean, they're all right. They're not in bad condition, but they could be better. This panel cleaned up really nice. This is the one that actually had all the screws in it. <laughs> and just like that is how it goes. Hey, I finally got all my screw holes lined up. There's that one. Here's this one, and that's the only two screws that hold this piece on. There we go, that's it. Yeah, man, that looks good, look at that. Nice, really nice. All right, now we could go, I still gotta shine this up. I promised I'd shine it up and I'm going to. Scrub some of the crud off first, right? Now let's hit it up with some polish. See if we can brighten it up a little bit. I'm just about out of polish, but I do got a little bit left over in the in the bottom there. <laughs> we'll try that. See if that'll at least get us through this. We'll have to go to the store and buy more. We got our money's worth out of this pad. What do y'all think? Let's switch that over. Put us a brand new one on there. Uh, sent to me by a subscriber, man. Look at that. We got a whole whole bag of stuff over there. Thanks to you guys. Really cool, man. We're going to get our money's worth out of this polish. That's for sure. That's just the McGuire's to get at the, the old Walmarts. This one here is slightly aggressive. So it'll help us clean this whole thing up. So here we go, side by side. This is the, the one on the driver's side that we haven't polished yet. And then over here, obviously, is the one that we polished. Uh, you know, not great, but definitely better it's not as dingy this one you can see it's really dingy so i'd imagine if you kept going over and over it probably use maybe some more aggressive compounds you could do a little better job but we're going to go with this for now because i do think that will work so over on this side i'm just getting everything lined up for my uh, seat belt to go back in and all i've done is i've taken my seat belt bolt right here and we've just installed it right where it goes Okay, we get the carpet, everything right where it needs to be. Make sure everything's tucked in right where it goes. And then we just feel for the bolt, right? We can feel it's poking out right here and make your little cut. And look at there, check it out. We've got our bolt sticking out right where it needs to go. Now that we've got that located, we know right where this is supposed to be. I've got a wire that comes off of it for the uh, seatbelt buzzer. And I want this to go back in exactly the way they had it and you can see it's got the little bend in the wire right here uh, i want to leave that because that's what they had and i want to position it right where it goes make a mark for the wire we got to make the wire go through the carpet so i've already done that check it out we can poke that right on through the carpet okay we're going to position everything exactly the way it came from the factory. I don't want to be putting any stress on the wiring or where it plugs into that, that seatbelt retractor. So that's why I'm so 
hell bent on making sure everything lays exactly the way it came from. Uh, this wire is just going to go over here, plug right back into our plug. Okay, y'all see it sticking up here. Let's get that plugged back in. There we go. Let's get our, make sure our uh, carpet stays tucked in everywhere it's supposed to be. Now that we know where the hole is, we got our bolt sticking out. All we got to do, obviously, pull the bolt back out, position this right where it goes, and we can bolt this thing in. Got my socket and everything already ready. Let's, uh, let's get it started. Yeah, got the bolt started here. Poke it right through our hole. This shouldn't be too hard to, to get this to line up now. Yeah, there we go. We're right on it. There we go. That ought to get it. So now that that's on, we can put this piece back on. This will be the final piece on this side. Everything else is done. That's pretty cool. Let's see. Uh, there's my screw hole. Just make sure that all your carpet's tucked up underneath there. We'll get all the screws started. And then uh, we should be good to go. Because I, I don't think nothing's sticking out. Everything's underneath there where it goes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Get all these started. Almost forgot to put my armrest back on. I'm gonna get finished up on this other side. We're gonna do it just like we did the other one. Shouldn't take. But, I mean, we got it down now. We, we could have the next side down in just a few minutes, I think. Okay. There we go. Like that. Okay, that ought to work. Got my kick pan all cleaned up, ready to go in. This time we'll put a couple screws in it, holding it in place. It didn't have any screws holding this in. It was just, it was just in there hanging on somehow. But anyway, this goes in fairly easy. Just kind of guide it up in there so you don't break nothing. We're just about there. You'll have to watch out here because it's going to slide over this pinch weld out here on the side. like that and then it'll get the screws up in here I think we're on the home stretch now get this trimmed back we can throw the seal plate on look at that it's the final touch right there when you get that on I went ahead and shined it up just like we did the other side I'm about to match You could probably get carried away with these and really, really polish them up, make them shine if you wanted to, I guess. But I think that's good enough. I think she looks pretty good, actually. So if I can find my drill, here we go. This is it, y'all. We are just about done. And we get to step back and look and see if we did a good job or not. I think we did fine. So there it is, man. It's all in. It fits really well. I'm impressed with the way it fits. I'm really happy the way it, it turned out. And I do think that uh, once we set it outside in the heat, remember, it's it's pretty chilly today. It barely made 60 degrees. And uh, I think once it sits outside and it warms up, man, it'll really get in there and just kind of, you know, just, I, I know you can maybe notice some wrinkles right there. You won't see them once, once the seat's in anyway, but a lot of that will kind of relax once we get some heat in there. And uh, you know what, Oklahoma weather, it's uh, 59 degrees today and tomorrow it'll be 96 degrees. So yeah, that's Oklahoma weather for you. You don't have to wait long for it to change. But man, I like how the seal plates are shined up and uh, I love the way the carpet's fitting. 
and I can't wait to get on the door panels next. We're gonna have to do something with the armrests. Thought maybe we could buy some. It'd be kind of nice just to buy some that are in good shape, either green or black. One or the other would be okay with me. Uh, this I'm gonna re I'm just gonna remake an insert. Probably cover it with our vinyl. I think that'll look just fine, and then we'll have to figure out something up here. It's missing the little pull strap. It's broken off, so uh, we'll we'll get that straightened out. I think that'll be a good project for next time. Once we get that stuff done, all we got to do is pop that dashboard in. In case you missed those videos, we re we completely rebuilt that dash and covered it with vinyl, and it looks great. And I can't wait to get it in there. Uh, it's going to go in very last. Because I'm not sure if you could tell, but this windshield is busted. And, I mean, all the way across, it's really bad over there. This windshield's got to go. I don't believe they're making those windshields. Uh, we'll have to find a good used one, I do believe. And that uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see how that works out. But I don't want my brand new dash in there while we're trying to cut out this old windshield and put in a new one. I don't want it in harm's way in any way, shape, or form. So I will leave it out until the very end. I think once everything else is done, that'll be the best time to go ahead and pop that thing in there. So we'll save that for very last. I want to thank everybody for watching. I do appreciate it. Please like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Uh, don't forget my Instagram and my Facebook. That way you'll get notified every time I put out a video. I want to thank my lovely wife, Mrs. Beard, for uh, doing the filming of this video. She's been helping us out. And uh, I'll tell you what, man, her running this camera makes it so much easier to get through these projects and uh, to be able to edit them together later. I mean, it's going to make us get the video out a lot quicker. So thank you to her. I'm going to get on out of here, you guys. I will see you all next time.